Um, in this problem, uh, we're given a function uh, of rho, theta, and phi uh, in an iterated description uh, in spherical coordinates of a region, a solid region, and we're asked to uh, calculate the integrated, iterated integral of that function over the region. Um, so the function that we're given is theta cosine phi, um, and we're also given bounds for theta phi and rho. Uh, theta is between 0 and 2, uh, excuse me, 0 and pi over 2, phi between 0 and pi over 4, and rho between 0 and cos phi. So since rho equals cosine phi, uh, we're going to integrate with respect to rho first. Uh, that way we can get rid of uh, that phi. It doesn't matter as much uh, if we integrate theta or phi first, but since we're integrating rho, which has a term of phi in it, we're going to do phi second, and then theta third. So the function is theta cosine phi, but we have to remember that while we're working in spherical coordinates, we also have to add a rho square sine phi before we do d rho d phi d theta. So now that we have our integral all set up, um, it is fairly complicated, but we could just go straight on through and calculate that. So we're going to treat all this like a constant here. The only term that we have is one term of rho. Uh, rho squared evaluates to one-third rho cubed. Um, and you'll see me immediately pull that uh, one-third out of the integral. Um, so know that d rho squared, or the derivative of rho squared, excuse me, the antiderivative of rho squared equals one-third rho cubed. This one-third I'm going to pull out immediately outside of the integral. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to do rho cubed. So now we have a function that looks uh, a little bit less fun to work with, um, but we can, what we can do here is uh, use a u substitution to uh, get rid of either our sine phi or our cosine phi. Excuse me, first I need to evaluate rho from zero to cosine phi. Um, so we can see immediately for uh, rho equals zero, this is just one term here. So the rho equals zero is going to drop out. Um, so we're left with whatever we get when we plug in rho equals cosine phi here. Um, cosine phi cubed is going to be uh, times another cosine phi is going to be cosine phi to the fourth. All right, now we can uh, integrate with respect to uh, phi. To do so, now we're going to use our u substitution. Um, we're going to set u equal to cosine phi. You could also use sine phi. Um, so we could see u substitution, our u is cosine phi, and our du is negative sine phi d phi. Let's not forget that we also need to change our bounds when we use a u substitution. So our bounds for phi are 0 and pi over 4. That means our upper bound for u is going to equal cosine
So our upper bound for u is going to be cosine of pi over 4, which is just 1 over rad 2. Our lower bound is going to be cosine of 0, which we know is 1. So we're going to go ahead and change those bounds now and uh, switch up our integral a little bit so we can uh, now see this u substitution in here. So we have u equals cosine phi. So this cosine phi, or excuse me, this cosine uh, to the fourth phi is going to give us u to the fourth. This sine phi d phi we found out was du. So we're going to have to add that negative sign in here. And now, in order to get rid of this negative, we can simply uh, switch these bounds. Um, so our upper bound is going to become 1, our lower bound, 1 over rad 2, and this is for u. And uh, then we're just going to be able to drop this negative sign. Um, so this is a lot nicer to deal with than that uh, cosine of the fourth that we originally had. So I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this integral here from uh, 1 divided by rad 2 to 1 for u. Um, so the antiderivative of u to the fourth is 1 fifth u to the fifth. Plugging in for 1 uh, is very simple. Uh, we're just going to get 1 fifth u to the fifth, or 1 fifth theta. Um, plugging in for 1 over rad 2 is not as simple. Uh, to make it a little bit nicer on ourselves, I'm actually going to pull this uh, 5 out right now and make this 1 third a 1 over 15. Um, so again, plugging in here. We get theta minus theta minus 1 over, well, this to the fifth is going to actually give us 4 rad 2. And then we just have a theta again, d theta. Now, we can actually break these integrals apart. Instead of combining like terms, we can break them apart. So it's the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of theta minus the integral of 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 4 rad 2 theta. Um, and now we're just, uh, all we have left to do is evaluate these uh, last two integrals here. Um, now all we just need to do is plug in uh, pi over 2 for theta and uh, 0 for theta in each of these terms. Uh, as we can see, neither term has an extra term so that's not uh, involved with theta. So those zeros are both going to just drop out in each of those 
uh, after a little bit of math, you're going to get this answer. So um, the value of our iterated integral over the region given is pi squared over 120 times quantity 1 minus 1 over 4 rad 2.